All right. Feindall? Feindall, follow. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. One of it did. Comes here. We'll be ready. Will you? You'll be ready, okay. You're gonna be ready for a dragon. Good for you. Ooh, yes. One of those loud flowers is nearby. I don't know where. I heard it. I know it's uh, somewhere. There it is. Ninroot. The flower that sings. We go on. That is where we're headed. This must be White Run. Brigands I can handle. But this talk of dragons? What is, ooh, look at that thing. Oh. What is a shield brother? An outsider, eh? Indeed. Never heard of the companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Oh. That sounds like in something I might be interested in. May I join you? Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Kervaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Indeed. Onward. Thinking I need to train some more. Hmm. <laughs> well. Tower in the distance. Rain. White run stables. All right. I'll Khajiit camp outside of town. Come to chat with an old woman? Hmm? No, no, I haven't. I have not come to chat with an old woman. Halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. I am on official business. Riverwood calls for the Earl's aid. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Fine by me. You'll find nothing out of the ordinary. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Jorland Rainmane for help? I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Hmm, fine. First of all, several things are going to happen now. I'm going to use your tanning rack. Because it's just sitting out here in the open. I will make... I am, in a moment. 
Wolf pelt, we'll make leather. Elk hide, I'll make leather. Elk hide, elk hide. Cave bear pelt, I will not. Now I will make some leather strips. All right, now I have some ore. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith. And I'll make some iron. All right, now, let us see. I'll talk to you for a moment. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Do you work the forge all day? Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. I made it for the Jarl, Balgroof the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenucci? He's the Jarl steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. I will. Thanks. Okay, and what can you tell me about Whiterun? Hmm, plenty. I'd say we're prosperous enough. Most folk don't go hungry, if they're willing to work hard. The city's ruled by the Jarl up in Dragon's Reach. That's the fortress there, up on the tall hill. But you're probably more interested in your Vasker, Mead Hall of the Companions. Their deeds of war and valor are legendary. Okay. What do you have for sale? Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Indeed. Well, we'll see about that. Now, first of all, I am going to buy something from you. Weapon-wise, oh, you've got a bow of draining. You've got a dagger of dismay. Sapping. Burning. Fire damage. I like fire damage. All right. Minor health. I do like that. I like the idea of the armor of minor health. But what do you have? Now, what do I need from you? I need iron. I need as much iron as I can buy. I need iron ore as well. I'll take all of your iron ore. That's for sure. I will take the silver ore for now. I don't have much use for it yet. Now, I want to take your iron and I want to take your silver. That's a lot to take all of your iron. I'm not going to take all of your iron. I'm going to take some of your iron. I'll take about 10 and we'll see what I can do with that. And I'll take Likewise, 10 silver. 10 steel, sorry, yes. That's what I'll take. Now, before I begin selling things to you, I'm going to go... Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Let's look at what I'm wearing first. All right, let's improve these fur bracers just because... Let's look at the iron helmet. Let's improve my iron helmet. Let's make two of them. Let's improve some studded armor. Let's do the iron boots and the fur bracers. Now, why would you go and get on that thing now? Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. I want to use the grindstone move. Thank you. Now, Balgriff's great sword. See, <clears throat> I can use the practice. I really can. But I'm going to improve the iron sword. I'm going to improve the iron daggers. Hmm. I want to. I want. I need the practice, so I will improve it. work on these daggers. Fine. The woodcutter's axe, just because I need to practice. Fine. Now, let's make sure I'm wearing some of the better things that I've just worked on. I'm using... Okay. 
Excellent. I didn't improve that longbow, however. Let's look at the apparel. I'm wearing fine bracers, fine boots, fine helmet. All right. Okay, now I'm going to sell you some of my excess. I don't claim to be the best oh, wait. Smith in white run. Let's make out. some, uh, smelt some ore. All I ask is a fair and silver. All right. Have you met my father? I help my father in more ways. Okay, what have you got for sale? Take a look. All right. I'm going to sell you. I'm going to keep the arrows. I'm going to keep the greatsword for now. I'm going to sell you all of these daggers. I do not need all of these daggers. Although I do need to start enchanting. I need them to practice enchanting, but I don't have... I'll work the enchantments later. I'll get into the enchanting later. Right now... That I'm going to sell the sword to you. That's good. Apparel. Okay, I need that. I don't need this. Well, I may take this iron helmet to enchant, but no, I'm going to sell it to you. And I'll enchant what I'm wearing. All right. The goat hide? I couldn't do anything with the goat hide? Okay. Um, what can I buy from you? Hmm. Blades, helmets, Weapons. Do you have a pick? You have a pickaxe, so I'm going to buy the pickaxe from you. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I will. Watch what you're doing. Let's go inside and see what you have for sale. Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. We got plenty of steel for fighting men. Okay, I will. What do you have for sale? Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay, well, I'll take a quick look at your weapons. Battle axe of chills. Steel battle axe. You've got some steel. I'm. Do you have a steel greatsword? You have a steel greatsword. I may take your steel greatsword off your hands. I would prefer to make one, but I don't think I can yet. So I will take your steel greatsword. Hmm. Good armor. I'm not going to take it, though. First of all, I can't afford it, but I will take your iron ore. I will take all of your leather. I can't afford that. Yes, I'm going to take as much of your leather as I can afford. I don't really need much. Well, no, I'm going to save some money for potions. I'm going to save some money for potions. I'll take five of them. All right. Good doing business with you. Now, let me work this leather. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. I've seen your wares already. Now, we're going to make leather strips. Alright. What was that grunt for, woman? Alright. Now. You think all the counsel my father provides to Yarl is his alone? Huh. All right, let's improve the steel greatsword. And longbow? Firewood. Okay, I need firewood. Firewood is easy to come by. Do you get to the cloud district very often? What am I saying? Of course you do. All right. Did you raise your prices, Carlotta? I had to. Yes, here. Let's make some. All right, let's get some firewood. Two hundred 
two firewood. We'll make about six firewood. One more. Excellent. Now. Okay. No, no, no. We're done. Okay. Well, apparently we're going one more time. All right. That's fine. Now. We're going to improve that bow of mine. Well met, Traveler. I want to improve this bow of mine. What do you need? Do not go there. Thank you. And we're going to improve the longbow. And the pickaxe. Just because I want the practice. Now. Onward. I work with my mother. Now. Off to see the Jarl. Hmm. There is an inn. And we can get a job from the inn. Let's do that. The Bannered Mare. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks, this is and an warm beds. If it's work you need, how about chopping up some wood for the fires? Okay. Okay, I can't take a job from you. Fine. Need anything else? Just no. let me know. We're all going onward. Foolish old woman. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing? And what of my son? Hmm? What of Thorold? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. Your son chose his side, and he chose poorly, and now he's gone. Such is the way of war. The sooner you accept his loss, the better. Still, I will never accept his death. My son still lives. I feel it in my heart. So tell me, Battleborn, where is he? Where are you holding my four hours? Snake or tender rack of ribs. <laughs> Do you believe this old hag? Holding him? Why, I've got him in my cellar. He's my prisoner. Face it, coward. Your stupid son is dead. He died a storm cloaked traitor. And you, you best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. Come on, father. There's nothing more to be said here. But I've got a right to proud, don't I? All I can think about is my son, my soul. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Do you? Battle born. They're in with the Imperials. They know it too. And yet they lie to my very face. How do you know they're lying? It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to help, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. Okay. Now, I need to check some things. First of all... Alright, I'm wearing what I need to wear. But, what weapon do I use? Now, the Ancient Nord Greatsword does 29. But, my grand... I also do 29 with my Steel Greatsword. They're very much the same. But I made the steel greatsword myself. Well, we'll see. There's a rift here in Skyrim. Can't neither life's hard one enough one with all these men time. propositioning me. Is someone giving you trouble? Is, the worst. is someone giving you trouble? That bard Mikhail is begging for a dagger up against his throat, the way he goes on about me. I heard him boasting at the bannered mare, saying he'll conquer me as a true Nord conquers any harsh beast. Hmm, <laughs> what if I talk to him for you? If you want to try, go right ahead. I don't think anything will get through that thick skull of his, though. It's possible my fist might. Remember, 
fresh fruit and vegetables every day. All right. Hello, child of Kinare. Danica? Lately, it seems I am more nurse than priestess, tending to those who have suffered both in mind and body from oh. this terrible war. You're, you're a nature priestess? Indeed. The temple here in the city is my charge. The goddess's divine blessings have no doubt helped make White Run a thriving and prosperous city. After all, it is she who brings rain to our crops and fair weather on the harvest day. Well, she's on the job today. Grace of Kinareth be with you. Whatever. I'm no nature worshipper. Now, this bard is going to be silenced. Oh, did you need something? Hmm. I didn't. Hmm. If it's a lady you're looking for, you best look elsewhere. Once Mikhail gets them, they're got. Yeah, you need to leave Carlotta alone. Carlotta put you up to this, didn't she? I'm sorry, but that fiery widow is mine. Oh, yes, she mommy? just doesn't know Don't yet. Forget to polish those glasses. She's not yours. Stop this nonsense. Now. <sighs> Maybe you're right. I guess I just didn't want anyone to think I couldn't handle one lass. On my honor, I won't bother Carlotta ever again. Okay. Good. Some parting advice? This is a local favorite and one of the first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the Red. Oh, there once was a hero. Onward. Carlotta. There's a reason. Mikkel won't be bothering you anymore. Really? You convinced that loot player to stop chasing me? I'd thank the gods, but I'll settle for thanking you. Here's some coin for your help. Good. Now. Remember, fresh food and vegetables every day. Right. Onward. Fandel, follow. Ulfred, patron of the great clan Battleborn. Right. I see. Well, Dragon's Reach. I like the name of your castle. Interruptions. Jarl Balgrat is not receiving visitors. I have news from Helgen about the dragon attack. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? I did, yes. I had a great view while the Imperials were trying to remove my head from my body. Really? You're certainly forthright about your criminal past. I wasn't but a criminal. it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute, especially now. What I want to know is, what exactly happened at Helgen? The dragon destroyed Helgen. The last I saw it was headed this way. By Ismir, Irelet was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls against the dragon? My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains... The Jarl of Falkreath will view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough! Not... I'll not stand idly by while the dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irelan. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my Jarl. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, 
Let's go find Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into a matter related to these dragons and rumors of dragons. Right. If you have something to say to the Jarl, say it with your own tongue. I you. serve Jarl Balgruf as steward. I have a sword for you from your daughter. From Adrian? Ah, this must be that weapon for the Jarl. Poor girl. So eager to prove herself. I'll present it to Balgruf when his mood is agreeable. Thank you. Please, take these few coins for services rendered. All right. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Sure. Earth standing around is rubbish. You should be taken to fight in the storm. Faringar, I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead and fill him in with all the details. So the Earl thinks you can be of use to me. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. All right, where am I going and what am I fetching? Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I have no betters. I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed in Bleak Falls Barrow. A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Oh, do you mean this stone? Ah, the dragon stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. You already found it. You are cut from a different cloth than the usual roots they are foists on me I know okay what's next that is where your job ends and mine begins the work of the mind sadly undervalued in Skyrim <laughs> all right now is she coming Farangar, you need to come at once a dragon's been sighted nearby. You should come too. A dragon? How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Well, let's go. We'll find out. So. Hirileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. No, oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the Watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irleth, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irleth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen. So you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. No, I can't afford to risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of court. <sighs> yeah. I Onward. I you the chance to see this dragon up close. All right, Irileth. I've seen you helping the yard. Only all visitors to White Run were. Now, Irileth, I'm going to help you 
fight this dragon, but that is a story for another day.